What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into Recraft. Recraft is an image generation and editing tool, and it's designed to empower creators and teams. Now, this is a part two video, by the way. In the first video, we did a deep dive into some of Recraft's heavy hitter features, including image generation, photorealism, and creative upscale. With those features, we showed off Recraft's version three model, which definitely impressed. So be sure to check out that part one video if you haven't already. Now, today, we're going to be diving into a brand new release within Recraft. We're going to be looking into advanced style creation and control. Now in today's world, brand consistency is key. When it comes to AI, maintaining visual consistency across assets has always been a pain point, but that's where Recraft's tools come in because Recraft enables you to create a unique brand style while scaling with consistency. So with that, we're going to be diving into style creation within Recraft. We're going to be doing that in a few different ways. Number one, we're going to be checking out their styles library. It's super vast. And number two, style mixing. All right, now let's start with the styles library. This feature helps you find inspiration quickly, so you can apply that inspiration to your own creations within seconds. Now, once you've made an account on Recraft, the link is going to be in the description as always, it takes no time at all. So once you're on the main homepage, you're just going to navigate to the style section at the very top and click on styles. Let's go ahead and click that. Now, this is going to load up an endless amount of different styles within Recraft. And there are a ton of styles to go through here. So first things first, if we come on over to the top here and click right here, we can actually go ahead and click on the category that we want to be looking at here. Let's click on photorealism. If we do that, we get all these really cool photorealistic looks. Let's come back here. Let's go to illustration here. Again, illustration for very artsy looks. And then we're going to come on down to vector art. So vector art is perfect if you're after some kind of a logo, some kind of a theme kind of a look here. And I'm just going to come back to the top here. So the raster and vector. Now on top of the categories here, we can actually go ahead and search the style that we're looking for here. So let's go ahead and click right here. And I'm going to search up comics here. Let's go ahead and do that. So here are a bunch of different comic book style looks here. So really cool stuff. Now let's say I want to go with more of a season theme. Let's go with Christmas. Let's go ahead and search that up. And again, here's a bunch of Christmas looks here. Now I'm going to come back to the photo realism category. Let's go ahead and click that. Now let's say I'm vibing with this one right here, which is underwater enigma. Let's go ahead and click this right here. Now, when you open up the style, you're going to get a bunch of different images for that style. So I can just cycle through the different looks here. Again, this is a really cool underwater look. I'm actually going to go ahead and save this style by clicking right here. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom here, I'm going to get all the different similar styles. So this is where we can really go down the rabbit hole. And so maybe I want to continue with this underwater or aquatic look. I can just come on down here and just see what else is really calling to me. So maybe I want to click on the oceanic exploration. I can do that right here. And again, I get a bunch of different images for this style and I get even more similar styles for that particular style. All right. So I'm just back on the main page here. I'm going to click on the save tab at the top here. And this is where all of your save styles are going to go. So this is a great place to just compile all the different looks you want to go with. Now, now, we're actually going to take a bunch of different looks here and we're going to do some really cool stuff with it a little bit later on in the video here. We're going to be jumping in the style mixing in a second here, but you can really see how this feature lets you just explore the different styles, see what you like, and just start to compile some really cool ideas. Maybe you don't really have any ideas and you just want to come in here and just see what pops up. So this is the perfect place to come and do that. And again, we're just kind of compiling all these different looks here. Let's go to Mythic Arcana. Let's click this one right here. I think this one's pretty cool. I'm going to save this one as well. So as you can see, I've stockpiled a bunch of styles and we're going to have some fun with that in a second here. All right, let's jump into style mixing. Style mixing allows you to unlock a whole new level of creative control. It lets you generate distinctive, consistent values by blending various styles and even reference images together. So let's do that right now. If I click on create new project, and if I come on over and click on image in the top left here, then I'm going to go ahead and click this button right here, which lets us choose the model we want to go with and the style as well. So of course we have the version three model selected. Now, if I come on over to this big orange button over here, let's go ahead and click this right here. This is where we can combine up to five styles from the styles library, or we can upload up to five of our own images. Also, you can mix styles and images together. So as you can see, we have our styles that we saved here from earlier. So we have a couple of really cool styles. So if I go ahead and click on the mythic arcana and I click this right here, it adds the style to the top here. Go ahead and add underwater enigma as well. 
we have a 50-50 split between the weighting of each style here. Now, if I put my mouse right here and I pull it all the way to the left here, nice and slow, it's going to actually increase the weight of the underwater image here and decrease the weight of the knight in shining armor here. I want to go with a complete 50-50 blend between these two styles here. I think they're really cool styles. We could come on down here and add this red cascade aesthetic as well. Now, once we add that, we can see that it is a complete one third of each style. So there is one third of weight between each style. I'm going to go ahead and exit right here. This is where we can put an extra stylistic prompt here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in natural light. Okay, we're going to keep these guys the same here. And this is where I can come over to the right hand side and click on generate test image here. So let's try this on for size underwater night. I'm going to go ahead and generate a test image. As you can see, we have our knight in shining armor and he is underwater. I'm going to go ahead and save my style. I'm going to call this underwater number one, save style. And just like that, we have created our own style here. So if I click over here on the left again, I can click and we can see that our style has been selected. See, we look on the right hand side. This is the style that we created. All right, so we have our style selected. I'm going to go ahead and pop in a prompt here to try our style out. I'm going to go with a 16 by 9 image here. I'm just going to move over this box a little bit to this side here. I want to go with four images and I just have a fun little prompt here. And we're going to keep everything else pretty much the same and see what happens. So let's go ahead and hit recraft. Look here, of course, we prompted an underwater knight in coral crusted armor wielding a glowing trident. This is very much a photorealistic look. And of course, our newly created style played a key role in creating this image here. So let's go back to the main homepage. So recraft.ai slash projects. And we're going to click on the create new projects button here. And just like before, we're going to click on image in the top left here. Then we're going to click on this button right here, which opens up the models and the styles here. And we're going to click on the big orange button again here. This time we're going to upload our own personal images into the create new style prompter here. So let's go ahead and click right here. And doing so is going to pop open our file folder. Now I have a couple of images here that I'm going to play around with. So here is the first image here. So let's go ahead and upload this image right here. I just thought the style was really cool. I like the environment. I like the colors. And then we're going to go ahead and add another image as well. And I just have this photorealistic forest here. It looks like in the Pacific Northwest. We got some really dense fog going around the base of this mountain here. I actually want to have more emphasis on the image to the left here. So of course, we're going to go ahead and drag this over to the right here. And now I have about a 60-40 split here. And if we look down here, we do have a style essentials selected. And we also have the illustration selected as well. Let's go ahead and test our image. I'm going to type in, let's do epic forest. So just something like that. And we're going to go ahead and test the image here. All right, now we have a little preview here right off the bat. I think this is a really cool look. I'm actually going to come back to my image here and I'm going to go ahead and increase the weight a little bit more for the left hand side image here. So let's do a 70 to 30 split here. And we're going to come back and go ahead and hit generate test image again here. All right, so we have our preview image again here. I think this is a really cool look. It's definitely retaining a lot of the photorealistic look, which is more of a preference thing for me. Let's go ahead and click on the save style here at the bottom here. And we have our style saved. I'm going to go ahead and, and name this Epic Forest number one and go ahead and hit save style. And now we have our Epic Forest selected here. So we can actually go ahead and start prompting here. I'm going to go with a 16 by nine images. I always like to have four images. Of course, I got to have four images. All right, so I've gone ahead and dropped in a prompt here. Let's go ahead and click on Recraft. All right, so first impressions, this is an epic, epic shot here. I love the color combination here. Of course, we have a couple of deer here. Let's check the next one as well. Okay, also love that look. The blue and the orange are a really good vibe together. Absolutely love this look here. So this is definitely a home run. So really happy with my results here. And of course, this style is now saved. So this is a style that we can reference here, and it's called Epic. Epic Forest 1, and I can come back here. If I click the button right here, I go to my styles, and there we go, Epic Forest 1 here. And again, we created this from scratch here. I just had a couple of images on my desktop, and we made something out of it here. From a business or a marketing perspective, if you have
have a certain look that you're going for, this is going to be the perfect tool to come in here, plug in all those assets and start creating something that's going to get you that consistency here. All right, so super quick pricing overview with Recraft here. So first and foremost, there is a free plan that you can leverage. So make sure you do that. The free plan does get you 50 free daily credits. Now to put that in perspective, a single image using a single prompt comes in at one credit, but for $10 per month on the annual plan, you can go for the basic plan, which gets you a thousand credits per month, creative upscale, priority image generation, artistic level control, extract detailed and optimized image prompts, and commercial rights. And by the way, you can use the code KINGY11 for $11 off any of the paid plans. So make sure you use that link in the description. All right, so there it is. Recraft continues to bring a unique approach to the AI image generation space, offering a ton of creative control and flexibility. With their new features dropping, advanced style creation and control has never been so accessible. This is the perfect platform to use if you're a designer, marketer, or creation hobbyist looking to flesh out impressive and consistent looks. Now, I would definitely recommend Recraft, especially if you're looking for some creative inspiration inspiration. Maybe you have a few ideas that you want to blend together. So be sure to give Recraft a go and to leverage that free plan. And don't forget to use the code KINGY11 at checkout if you decide to go with the paid plan. Have fun and good luck with your creations.